David, nice gains across the board yesterday. In fact, we saw the S&P 500 close above its 200-day moving average, seen as a bullish signal among technical traders. But take a look at the S&P futures chart. That clearly shows that we saw a drop right after that weak retail sales print came in at around 8.30 a.m. Economists are now trying to figure out how this impacts fourth quarter GDP and retail earnings, which are set to kick off next week. Walmart on the, on, on the tape. Investors awaiting an update as well on the U.S.-China trade discussions. Germany's GDP getting some attention this morning as well. It narrowly avoided slipping into recession, though China's trade was surprisingly upbeat. As you guys were discussing, imports also rising, painting a much more optimistic picture of China's economy. We saw the Shanghai Composite close flat overnight, but it's had a nice run this week. And for the year, it's up about 9 percent, just below the S&P 500's 10 percent gain in 2019. On the earnings front, Coke earnings fell right in line with analyst estimates. Strong organic revenue growth despite currency headwinds and refranchising costs. Canada Goose beat on both the top and bottom lines. Profits jumping 64 percent over the same time a year ago. The company also gave upbeat guidance. On the same front, Hyatt saw a beat in profits despite weakness at select service hotels. However, its guidance came in below street consensus and shares are down about 2.6 percent. It comes after Hilton reported better than expected numbers. You can see Hilton outperforming Hyatt on the year.